So you think the Devil's Tower is a giant petrified tree? Well, are you sure about that? Because I thought the same thing at first, and now, with an open mind and presented new information, I think it's something very different. And when you do a quick YouTube search, and there's tons of information about it being a tree, that should cause you to question it. And I've done multiple posts talking about how the Devil's Tower is a giant petrified tree. So believe me, I was there. But this information that I'm gonna provide you, I think there's gonna be no doubt of what it really is. So because it never resonated 100% with me that this was a giant petrified tree, I decided to do what I do. And I checked it out, and I checked out the surrounding area. And you might not see it at first, but you will. So I want you to look right here. Here's the Devil's Tower, and I want you to look right here. It looks like a giant alligator snout to me. And stick with me, because I'm gonna show you a lot more. Because alligator head and even eyes, and when you zoom in, you can see something that looks very similar to an alligator's claw. So similar, in fact, that it's almost undeniable. And when you look back to this alligator head all across here that I was outlining and you compare it to an alligator's head, it even has an alligator eye right there. And when you do another side-by-side -side of the full alligator claw, even with the scales here, and you compare it to what we see in the Google Maps, there's no denying what that is. So at this point, if you're still with me, you might be asking yourself, well, what part of the giant alligator from before the flood would have something that looks like the Devil's Tower? Well, did you know that ancient alligators had horns? I just happened to find a lovely little article talking about how extinct horned crocodiles, basically an alligator, has a new spot in the Tree of Life and that they used to exist and that there are actually still horned alligators and crocodiles. And not only that, but that these small horns are often found behind their eyes. And it just so happens that the Devil's Tower matches up pretty close to where their behind their eyes would be. And have you ever actually looked at the curvature of the Devil's Tower? Because to me, that's not a tree. That's a rhino horn, and it seems to have a very similar curvature. And not only that, but a rhino horn also has very similar patterns as the Devil's Tower, and a very similar base. So similar, in fact, that when you compare them side by side in each of those instances, it's hard to deny what this actually is especially when you look at the geography in this giant alligator head. Now what I do want to show you is that I think this alligator's claw is actually over here and that there's another alligator that died right on top or above him and that's the one whose claw I'm showing you just so you get the full picture. So the question is, is this information provided to you in this video outweigh what you thought you knew? And if it does, are you able to adapt a new truth? Or are you too close-minded because you already know oh, that's a petrified tree? Just like you knew you lived on one of these. This was all for entertainment purposes, of course. I know the Devil's Tower is just a volcanic rock formation that happened over millions of years. And not at all a horn growing out of an ancient, giant, pre-flood alligator. Entertainment only. Have a nice day.